Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lawrence product expert. And today, we're gonna show you how to get on a laptop or any other type of computer and find your software updates for whichever Lawrence unit you're using. One of the biggest reasons to keep your unit up to date is the fact that we have new features that we like to release and then also any bugs or issues that have been found along the way, we also like to correct those so that your unit functions properly. So we're going to show you the easiest way how to keep your units up to date. The easiest way to find our updates is to go to Lawrence.com. As you can see, we're on the page right here. It says help and support. If you click that, we come to this screen. Sometimes it takes it a minute, depending on your internet connection. And as you can see, it says, how can we help? Well, if you look right down here, it says manuals and software updates. So we're going to give that a click. And we come to this downloads page. All you do is select the drop down arrow and it gives us a whole list of the products that we've developed throughout the years. So even our legacy products are in here, like our HDS Gen 1. All of that software is in here. So if we selected the Elite TI2, we would click on that. You can see it brings up all kinds of addendums. So these are the manuals and stuff for your unit that you can look at if you need those. And then we go down here to software. We give that a click. It gives us a little information about the software update. We scroll to the bottom and then we select download Elite TI2 software. It asks if you want to register your device. If you haven't registered it, you can register it from here. If not, you can select, I'll do this another time if you want to register it later. Then you click download your file here. Now I'm using Internet Explorer, so I'm going to go here and select Save As. This way I can tell it where I want it to save. So I've got a folder here <coughs> that I want to put it in. Now I'm just going to hit Save and the software is going to download. Okay guys, once your software is downloaded, as you can see we're completed here, you're going to copy your software over from wherever you saved it to your micro SD card and it's going to be a .upd file that goes on the card. So that's what the Lawrence units read is the .upd file. Copy that to the card and we're ready to put it in the unit. Don't forget if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to click this link right up here. Subscribe to the Lawrence YouTube channel so you can get this and other valuable technical information.